Well, everybody, what the hell am I going to do with all this extra room? And then I got all this extra room. I got no projects to do. Of course, the plow is out front for sale for 2500 which is a steal. I think it's a steal and a half because it's worth it. So I've been sniffing around on Craigslist and um, looking for a few projects. I found a very rare, and people don't know about this, that they made rotary engine motorcycles. They're very rare, and I found one. And he's asking $2,500 for it, but it looks like it's been through the ringer. You know, like speedometer gauge and all that. They're all like rust covered. And then it seems like it was it's been in a damp basement. But he says it turns over. But still, it doesn't matter if it turns over. All the seals inside that case are probably shot. It's good for parts. And for parts, it's probably worth 1500 So he's asking 1000 too much. Um, I found a moped, a 2007 Pagaggio bv250 for a thousand that looks immaculate low miles but it's too far away and uh so there goes that one and uh that's about it i mean it's it's pretty boring around here you know about the only thing i've done was leave a mess on my bench so when i really get bored i can clean it up but I made, made one run to the gas station. I filled up a lot of my cans. I filled up these, these three cans and two blue ones. So these are all fresh gas. So there's 25 gallons there that cost me $93. This is full. This is half full because I just used this to fill my tank. This is the oldest one that I've got because I rotate through them. But I use stable. I mean, I use... The marine stable is actually better because it's got enhanced water removal and they both do the same thing and uh see this treats up to 320 gallons where this only treats up to 80 gallons so if you're gonna buy this stuff buy the marine because it's made for moisture and water and and you get more for your money i mean it treats more so that's why uh, my neighbor told me about this. I didn't know about this until my neighbor that has a boat says, well, I use this. And I'm like, well, no kidding. I guess I'll try it. So that's what I use in all my gas. So when I empty out a gas can, I instantly put in my half an ounce in the can. And then I set it over here to the refill section. What I haven't been doing lately, but I have now. So I put as much as I could in my lawnmower. So that's way over full now. So... Checked my oil, checked all that stuff. So this is ready to go. Told you I took my chains off because it's getting dry. It's getting really dry and the lawns are cracking. But I've been watching some of this weather stuff going on. And I mean, one day it's one thing. Next day it's another thing. It's like, would you freaking guys make up your goddamn mind? Are we having an El Nino or are we having a El Reno? Or you know what I mean? Or an El Wino? El something O, El Bungholio. Yeah, you never know what the hell is going on. But here's a here's a hammer I used in my in my picture of pulling the wires out of my car in the beginning of the video. It's a nice hammer. I've had this for a long time. So I've had this hammer for a really long time. I still don't know what the hell that point is on the end of it. I don't know. I don't know what the hell kind of hammer that is, but it's good for hitting people in the head with. In case somebody's, you know, smart ass. So I dug out another one of my, my traps here, trip wires, and I'm deciding where I want to put that one. I reconnected my one between the properties between us. I had to drive a stake in the ground. Because uh, I had the wire hooked to the fence next door. But once her kid figured out she could shake the fence and blow off my things, and I was pissed and said, okay, that's enough of that. 
so I drove in my my own pole now, so they can shake the fence all they want. And it ain't gonna go off until some dumbass walks through the wire and pulls a pin out, scares the living shit out of themselves. So someday I'll probably find a pile of shit on the ground and and one shoe. <laughs> But the guy ran away. So I've been talking to Boosa Bob or email or texting or whatever, and he just couldn't leave that bike alone, could you, Bob? He had to extend that swing arm out. So he's extended out the swing arm. It didn't look like a massive extension. It looks like, I don't know, where was that, Bob? Six or eight inches. But he extended out the swing arm. Um... So, hey, it's not mine anymore. You know, he can put flowers on it if he wants. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how he, he'll get it on the road this week, and then I can, you know, see if he's still alive a few days later. <laughs> but what Bob doesn't know is he's got a present coming tomorrow. I sent Bob a present, and... Of course, uh, FedEx. Hey, this is for you, FedEx. I made a video. You can probably search YouTube that says FedEx sucks. And you can see it's had 26,000 views on it, which is kind of real, a lot for me. 770-something comments. Everybody agreeing with me. Even past employees agreeing with me, which I was surprised to see that. Yeah, I was supposed to get the passenger seat today. And what I was going to do is I still could pre-print out a tag for the for the seat. So when the box comes in, when FedEx goes me to, gives me the box, I can stick the label on it and say, here, take it back and ship it. You know what I mean? But I probably won't do that to Bob because FedEx sucks. I'll probably just ship it to the post office. Because FedEx, they're just a bunch of assholes. You know what they do is... Like on eBay, what they do is, so you buy some on eBay and like 30 minutes later, you get a notification to ship with the tracking number. So that just means the freaking idiot printed out a tag and that's all it means. He printed out a tag, the package is sitting on his table. Now when FedEx decides to get around there to pick the package up, oh, and then they give you an estimated delivery date. So if the guy does it on the 10th, You'll get it on the, the 13th. Well, it's all bullshit. The time starts when FedEx physically has a package, not on their truck, back at the station. Then the timing starts. Then they give you an updated time. So, I mean, there's they're such assholes at FedEx. I just can't stay in the company, you know. And uh, UPS is good. I like UPS and, you know, Especially, I got a new UPS guy. My other buddy, Bruce, he retired. So I got a, a new newer guy. And he's pretty cool. He likes to come in and check out the progress I'm doing. He watches my videos. But I'm telling you, FedEx just sucks. So, yeah, they, they count it after they get it. And then I was supposed to get it today. And it's still, it left Syracuse at 1247 a.m., Syracuse is 45 minutes from there to my post office here. 45 minutes. So yesterday, it left there, you know, in the morning, you know, just after midnight, to come this way. So it's taken them almost 24 hours to freaking get 45 miles. I, I don't know what the hell they're doing. They're a bunch of retards. So I don't know. We got a FedEx ground right down here in Marcy. They're... I don't know what the hell they're doing. Just, they're a bunch of jackholes, you know? Okay, assholes. There you go. So, anyhow, I can get that up to Bob, and, you know, then he'll have a... He can slide his ass back onto the passenger seat. <laughs> so, got some plans over here now. Thinking of some plans over here. Um, I wish I would have put this window over here a little bit more, but that would have screwed up with the flag. Um, I'm going to be putting a wall across here. 
So, that's the plan. Oh, it's a clock doing that. Listen. The clock is ticking. I kept hearing a click. I thought something was wrong with my light. So, there's going to be... I'm thinking, I'm thinking about blocking this area off. So, this will be a secret room. You know? From the outside coming around here, you'd never even notice it. You know, somebody wouldn't even notice it because they would just think it's part of the bathroom or something. And I'm going to make it all out of matching wood. And it's going to be probably secret food storage area. So, I'm not sure though. I'm not sure because will it get damp out here? Will it not get damp? Will it get too hot? Will it not get too hot? So, this is an iffy. This is an iffy deal because I don't know if it's a good idea or not. You know? Um, for dry goods and stuff. I don't know. Kind of like an emergency when the zombies hit and raid your house and they steal all your food. Well, I'll still have food stash. Because you never know what's going on in this world nowadays. You know, look at all the stores are closing. Holy Christ. Do you see how the stores are closing or thinning out their stores? Now Kohl's is doing it. It's like, holy crap. Everybody is just losing money. Nobody's buying. Nobody's spending. And other than that, then they're, they're getting ripped off. You know, people are going in there just stealing everything. So, they're, uh, they're like, that's it. We're done. We're losing too much money staying open. We're closing. We're out of here. So, I mean, you can't blame them. I made a mess here the other day. When I did my video of grabbing a handful of wires. Those wires. So... Yeah, these are non-refundable, non-returnable. That's why if you see these in the garbage, um, which is kind of stupid, it's only for Hawaii and Maine, five cents. Oregon, they're ten cents. Nothing from New York. Garbage. I should probably hang on to them and just melt them down into an aluminum block. Anyhow, that's it. There's really not much going on. Um, keep searching for a project to do. Give me something to do, and I'm really not finding much. Um, I contacted that Mercury, that website, and the lady I bought, see, I broke another one. Broke that one, I broke that one. This wood is brittle, so I'm going to have to change this over. I'll have to get some stone. So I contacted the lady about the funnel for the water capture and thing. And she said, yeah, may I have UPS? I'm like, well, good. You know, because I was first time in McCurry. I'm like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I should have put that in a green tarp, you know. I was thinking about just painting the bottom like grass on the tank, make it look all flowery and pretty. <laughs> I don't know. A tank is hot. You put your hand on that thing, it's hot. It's like, Jesus. you think they would make it white so it reflects some of the heat coming off of it. And I don't know if you can paint that or not. And, you know? But I did get my new sign. And I did cover up the danger part. And the tank was wicked hot when I put the sticker on. As soon as it got on there, it just stuck. So it's got wrinkles on it, like... Grandpa's nuts, but anyways, geez, Bob, I should have gave you this. Yeah, but yeah, I got to find something to put in here. I don't know what. Figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm running out of toys, but it's just for a short time. It's nice to have a stash, you know, that if I see something I want, and then if I get rid of the plow, I was looking at those 45-inch snow plows that they have. Um, I found one for 400 bucks. 
That's that's a big ass snowblower. You know what did I say? Snowplow, snowblower. I meant. There's my little buddy. He's looking at something. What you looking at, huh? Are you looking at the birdie in the tree? You looking at the birdie? Look at this birdie. Look at that. Look, birdie. On the ground. Look at this birdie. Look what's he birdie? <laughs> you ain't gonna get that bird, idiot. <laughs> Jesus, like he's gonna capture a bird. Wow, he got way over there quick. Come on, Junior, get over here. Man, he ran his little ass off over there. You're not going to get the birdie. Come on. Junior, birdie over here. Here's birdie right there. Wonder dog. Dun, 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 dun. You didn't get the birdie? No? Birdie's all gone? Oh, poor boy. You know, you're all tired out. Good. Run your little fat ass off. Come on, Jun. Come on. Let's go. You listen pretty good. All right, get back in. I just think it's hilarious. You know, people with dogs. People with dogs, they let their dog run their life. That don't happen with me. No. We don't do that, do we, Junior? He knows I wear the pants. Well, I guess that's it for now. There's really nothing else, nothing else going on. So, anyways, I guess have a good one. And when I got something coming up, uh, I'll be bringing more videos to you. But next thing I will be doing is the gutter along the back of the house, and then tying in out here. So, which is whoopie do, you know, no big deal. And I think I want to bring my Bring the machine in, slide this over, and hook the chain fall up to the back of my plow, snow plow, and put my weight meter on. I don't know how much weight this thing can handle. I don't know how much the scale can take. And see how much I can pull on that beam. Is there a limit on this? 300 kilograms. The hell's that? Well, it can handle 300 kilograms. Pounds? 300 pounds, maybe? 250 pounds? Well, that beam will easily hold that. Oh, I see it's cracking already. Uh-oh. It's cracking already. How goes the goddamn cracky-ass beam? Huh. Well... Cracks and cracks. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, so. All right, that's it. I'm not going to keep babbling on and on and on and on. So I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.